Right, my name is Melvin Spencer, I'm 67 years old. I was born uh, at Longway Bridge in Huddersfield um, in 1965, uh, 1945, Eddie. Um, at the time of, um, just after the war when things were very grim, uh, but it was an area of terrace houses where everyone knew everyone else, um, food and things were in short supply, uh, gardens were usually turned off for growing vegetables and then things started to get better as the years went on. Um, my first school was Mount Pleasant which was on Vic Victoria Road in Lockwood. Uh, I went there until I was seven or eight years old then I went to Rashcliffe Junior School and from there to Royds Hall Grammar School. Uh, first job was at David Brown's uh, where I started in 1961 as an apprentice. Um, very unsettled at, at, at that age. Uh, worked, uh, played guitar in a pop group as most people did. Um, but I've got a lot of recollections of, of how things have changed from um, multiple cinemas sort of thing where there were I believe over 30 in the Huddersfield area um, down to have we got one in Huddersfield now? Yes we have yes um, at the Gal Farm um, there were cinemas within possibly a couple of miles of each other or even less in my location of uh, at Long Road Bridge, there was the Plaza, there was the, uh, I believe it was the Excelda in Lockwood, there was the uh, Empire, I think it was, at, um, in town, there was another one at uh, Paddock, and I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's now named as a supermarket. Um, I can't think of it, just me a moment to to think about what the name of it. Um, it wasn't the Empire, it was the... No, it's gone. Uh, there was one over in Waterloo, uh, Mole Green. In town there were... Oh, the Plaza on Manchester Road. As I mentioned, the Empire. No, it's not there, There was the Lounge, the Esoldo. Far too many to name. Um, the other things that there were a lot of that I remember were ice cream manufacturers. I remember when Dixon's was uh, Rhodes, um, he used to come round in a horse and cart. Um, I mentioned about the gardens in Springdale Street and it was, this is quite true, when the horse and cart came up the street with the ice cream, uh, everybody, the men sort of had a, a bucket and a spade apiece and whoever house the the, uh, the horse did its doings in, they rushed out to collect it to put on the garden. Um, the, 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 the ice cream manufacturers, there were Colettas, D'Agostinos, Longos, uh, Gabrielles. In fact, there was one in the um, in Morelli's, in the, uh, in the marketplace. Things there were so many different diverse things at that time that have now just been sort of compacted into one or two. Uh, whether this is for the better or not, I don't know. But to go to the cinema on a Saturday afternoon and pay, we'll say around about the old sixpence or two and a half pence, and then go out with the change and get a bag of chips from the fish and chip shop next door. Um, if you collate that into what you'd spend now, I don't think it's anywhere near that amount. Uh, sometimes take the grandchildren to the gal farm and you're paying, if you take two grandchildren you can be paying upwards of £30, which is quite a slice of your income. Um, I'm now retired uh, and enjoying myself doing that and on a lot of occasions I do go back to the 60s with very, very fond memories um, of the dance halls, again so many dance halls, it was unbelievable. There was one on every street corner. There'd be five or six in the town centre. There was 
the one on Ratford Road. Uh, just literally, you had so much choice that, um, well, you were spoiled for choice, literally. Uh, do you think of anything else you want to? <laughs> what else would there be lots of uh, that, that there aren't now? Youth clubs. There was never a time when there was nothing to do. You could always go to the youth club. I used to go to one at Paddock. Um, we used to do weight training. We used to play table tennis, all sorts of things. Just walk in. You didn't pay any subscriptions. Didn't have to pay for it. You just went in, enjoyed yourself. Um, this is why I think there was there wasn't as much trouble on the streets as there is today. Um, if you had a fight, it was knuckles only. There were no knives, guns, and all that sort of thing. Um, going up to the park, you went up to the park, you enjoyed yourself. Now you go up to the park and you're looking over your shoulder all the time to see who's coming down behind you, what they're going to be doing on roller skates, going to pinch your bag or whatever. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking myself out now. <laughs> Can't think of anything else. Uh,